Good morning, my pipe smoker friends and community. I'm back uh, this morning having my uh, my morning coffee here on my stoop on this nice uh, Saturday morning. And um, I'm going to bring you another delivery of my um, of my quest to tobaccos and blends and things uh, given the restrictions and uh, the little variety that we do have here in South Africa currently. Um, I remember when I was a boy uh, when I started smoking pipes in the late 70s, uh, early 80s and 90s you could get plenty of, there was plenty of tobacconists and plenty of blends and uh, you could get anything you, you, would, you would have wanted. Um, but slowly and surely as uh, the anti-smoking campaign, you know, gained momentum all over the world, um, tobacconists uh, ceased to exist. I know, know of uh, two in, in, uh, in a big city. In another city I know of about one or two um, a franchise so it's actually within one because it's the same tobacco blend and uh, and one one family business uh, down in Cape Town so there might be more I mean I'm not saying that I know all of them but uh, it is really frustrating to uh, to not have a variety and not uh, walk through different shops and get different blends and uh, and even pure tobacco um, I cannot buy Virginia and Burley I can get Latakia and Perique but I cannot get, buy Virginia uh, you know uh, yellow lime Virginia or red Virginia or any of those um, different styles. So I'm continuing with a second tobacconist's blend that, uh, that I bought over the week. Um, and this tobacconist is less professional than the previous one maybe, uh, if I can put it that way, because he's not even giving you know, telling us what it should smell like or, to or taste like um, or what is inside. I tried to, 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 to get it from him so and it was very difficult. Uh, he just calls this mixture Mix 1. So Mix 1 I can definitely taste a little bit of uh, or smell smell a bit of burley in there as well as um, as well as a, a sweetness, so there's there's definitely some some aromatics in there. Uh, probably Virginia, obviously, because that's most of the cases the base. So I would say that that is something like a like a Virginia with a little bit of Burley, uh, maybe some cherry Cavendish. Um, now, according to the tobacconist, he also put in some Fox in there. Now, Fox is a is a local no fuss tobacco that you buy you know fr from uh, in South Africa very cheap uh, just as I said no fuss just plain pure uh, and and uh, and uh, cure, not and cured but you know and treated uh, just plain raw tobacco so mixture number two uh, smells as I said like a little bit of nutty and uh, and, and I can taste some burley in there, but definitely no Latakia or Puri. It's a... It's a soft, uh, soft tobacco. Definitely not strong. The room note is, uh, there's a little bit of sweetiness in the room note which I think will be very appealing to, to, uh, to the ladies. Um, not clear, not, not strong cherry, although apparently there is cherry in, but it's not strong, it's, it's more the sweetness, a little bit of sweetness that comes out instead of the, you know, the, the overpowering cherry that you sometimes get in these cherry um, tobaccos. And... Um, 
yeah, definitely a, a nuttiness that uh, that you can that you can uh, taste in there. The second one, what he calls, is mixture number two. So mixture number two, um, and I've mixture number one, I had in my Savinelli Deluxe. Very very nice nice uh, nice pipe. Uh, mixture number two. I'm smoking it in my Savinelli Wumpo. Uh, also a very nice pipe. Uh, mixture number two, according to this tobacconist, has got some rum, uh, rum in, also aromatic. Mm. And definitely a little bit of mintiness. I think there's menthol. Uh, maybe he put, he added some menthol in there. Uh, the rum. I wouldn't say I taste the rum. More, more of a of a of a, a caramelish um, taste that I get in there. I wrote on my notes here. Nutty, minty, and uh, yeah, caramelish. So maybe the rum, you know, gives you the impression of a of a caramelish um, taste. Hmm. Less sweetie, definitely less sweetie. And uh, also a pleasant, pleasant room note. Uh, in the room note, where the other one was a more sweetie room note, this one has definitely a more, a more caramelish, nutty uh, room note. Clearly, I, I packed this one a bit um, dense. Mm. Mm. Nuttiness, nutty and uh, nutty and uh, and caramel, clear, clear in this one. Very nice. And then my um, this just a. Uh, Yeah, uh, the the nuttiness you can also smell in the in the plain uh, tobacco. The third one he calls his perfect blend. Now, uh, perfect blend clearly different than any of these two. Um, I would say. Also clearly nuttiness in it, so burley will be in there. Yeah, definitely a nuttiness also in there, burley. Um, and his suggestion was that uh, if you find the mix one or mix two too uh, uh, too strong, you can then add a little bit of the perfect blend uh, in that. So meaning it should then make it a little bit less strong. I can't see that because there's no Latakia in and the other two, is, uh, the mix one and two is not, it's not strong. So the perfect blend. They are less flavorful. A little bit of burning in the uh, in my throat, you know, in the back of my mouth, which normally is to me an indication of uh, of too light. Um, and I'm smoking this one in my uh, 
Savinelli uh, Uno Furo. Um, yeah, funny enough, it's by by randomly that I just cho chose my three Savinellis uh, this morning for this for this uh, uh, review. So these are the three blends that uh, I bought recently. Um, I'm, I'll play around with it. Maybe I must use that as my uh, as my playing testing ground and uh, and do some testing and uh, mixing um, of these three blends. Just another thing that I would like to quickly touch on while I'm I'm closing off this video is uh, something that I that I uh, heard uh, in a in a video. Briar Boy. Um, posted a video on the FDA uh, and I was shocked to 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 learn that the the big uh, pharmaceutical and, uh, and food producing companies um, is actually busy in, in a very subtle way maybe not so subtle in America but uh, you know coming over here it's it's subtle is in a subtle way uh, taking away the you know the the craft the craftsmanship of uh, of growing your own we've just started a a vegetable garden uh, in, in in our backyard and um, I would love to have raw fresh milk and fresh vegetables and fresh everything no GMOs no antibiotics, no chemicals and things. I couldn't believe that uh, America with, with the Bill of Rights, um, that the FDA has got so much power to, to even confiscate uh, you know, um, home, homegrown markets and, and things like that. So that is, that is uh, really sad because you know, the, the more we can produce our own food, um, the healthier it is, and uh, I mean, we've got we've got the earth that that God gave us to to utilize instead of maybe planting trees and bushes and and flowers. Plant your own food. You save money. You you eat healthier. So, uh, yeah, I think the world should come back to back to basics, back to natural, back to to how it maybe was a hundred or two hundred years ago. But I won't give, my, give myself out as a specialist on this, so just my uh, <laughs> my quick opinion on this. So, um, friends, on this uh, mix two note, which is a light, slightly cherry uh, cherry mix, I'm going to um, to greet you, enjoy your your Saturday, and uh, enjoy your your pipe smoking for today and uh, yes puff on bye bye